Hi everybody, um, you're going to have to bear with me because I am live both here in the waiting room and here on Instagram. Um, so we thought we would come back to you um, to show you, wow, Nat's lips. Helen's just finishing up now. Hi Karen. We've just, if you didn't catch our video earlier, we're just, Helen's just finishing up this lip blush. Um, which looks amazing. Let me see. Can you all see that? Of course, if you have any questions for us or for Helen or for Natalie, then, um, just let us know. We'll get Nat, Nat's for, thoughts after. Now this is a lip blush. Karen says, hi all, looks amazing. It's definitely on my wish list. I don't think you'll regret it, Karen, so. <laughs> hi, Karen. Do you, Helen, do you do, um, is it just the brighter colours that you do or do you do n more natural colours for people that are watching? Yeah, there's all different types of, uh, actually, to be fair, this colour comes out quite soft doesn't it it's quite yes. subtle yeah um it, it'll always look considerably i can't see if i'm oh hello that's incredible i know um, i hadn't actually looked at what you're doing um they'll always come out super super dark what you've got to remember with the lips is the fact that you've got the color of the lip to contend with and then the color on top if you go for something that's really dark really deep you will struggle if you want to put a lighter color over the top a lipstick for example Whereas I always sort of say, tend to go with something that's going to be quite quite soft and natural because if you do then want to put a bright red lipstick on over the top, you can and you won't see it underneath. Smiling, but my, numb, my lips are numb. <laughs> you are. <laughs> so, how did it feel? Apart from occasionally feeling like I was going to dribble on Helen, <laughs> really relaxing. <laughs> it's really relaxing. Well, you so did. A couple of times and this now, is the second it? time I've had it done yet. Yeah, and you did say you were, you were falling asleep. I was falling asleep until I thought I was going to dribble. <laughs> So uh, you, you've had it done not just by me, you've had it done by other people too, haven't you? And there's a difference. Oh, there's a huge difference. Um, the first time I had it done, I, I found it extremely painful. I wouldn't go anywhere other than this. It's a totally different experience coming here. Very relaxing. And Even if I dribble. We don't mind. We don't mind a bit of dribble. So these are going <laughs> to soften do. off. Um, yeah and they're going to end up being really quite a nice soft um, sort of pink colour um, and you just like to wear like a... a well, maybe I should come back in a couple of days when it's softened down for you to take mm -hmm. a picture to show them what yeah. it yeah. looks like after. If yes, you would, that would be great. It doesn't stay like this, does it? No, it softens up quite a yeah. lot. And how do you find the healing pe you know, period of time? Do you, you know, obviously you've got your eyebrows, everybody's kind of used to eyebrows, but sort of from your perspective, what's the healing like on this? I Time. It was about four days. I mean, oh, so not long did, at all. No, mine doesn't, super quick yeah, mine doesn't take. Mine, I'm quite quick at healing. I'm about four or five days. But I'm, I'm using like lots of um, Vaseline because otherwise they go quite crusty. I yeah. want a better word. <laughs> uh, so I like to keep them. I find that they heal quicker. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. And with lips, 
Lips is different to eyes, is different to brows, um, to be fair. So, um, yeah, and, and, and lips, again, the same as when you're tattooing skin, all lips are different. So I'm really, really fortunate with Nat's lips in that they are amazing. They absorb pigment brilliantly. So, um, And she's got yeah. a lovely, nice tan. Nice tan, nice eyebrows. Why wouldn't you want Thank those you <laughs> So uh, if you do want to find out any more information, what we'll do is when that's back in, um, we'll have a look at her all healed. So ha has anybody got any questions? None have come through, so... But if you do have any questions, your phone just vibrated, so I don't know whether that's a yeah. comment or not. Um, put them in the um, comment box and myself or Helen will be well we will reply um, you're on our group as well aren't oh, you yeah. so um, if you have any questions for Natalie um, we can get Natalie to um, send you a message if you'd like us to but yeah so for today I hope you've had a lovely day everybody get and, uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us take care everyone bye, bye.